Hey guys, uh, this is my story of how I got into watches and the story about this particular swatch. It's actually a simple quartz swatch that I've been wearing for almost nine years now, since I was 13 years old. And the story goes, uh, I've always been into watches. My dad gave me uh, one of his watches before he passed away, but I ended up losing that watch someone stole it from me from camp and uh when we were escaping the war uh, when we were in damascus my mom uh, ended up buying me this one and it's been with me ever since yeah this watch has seen lots of difficult moments lots of great memories as you can see it's all beat up the clasp this part of the clasp has been lost I've worn this watch everywhere, literally. Uh, when we were, um, when we were trying to get to a refugee camp in Germany, we were in Argentina, and uh, we were actually getting deported. And all this time, this watch was with me. Every city, every country I've been since I was thirteen, this watch was on my wrist. Uh, so yeah, it's a piece that I will keep forever in my collection. It's actually a, a great story because I ended up working in an AD, uh, wearing a suit and I would wear this watch on a daily basis. And all, all my co co-workers would laugh at me for wearing this beat up uh, cheap swatch, but uh, in a city where everyone appreciates high end luxury, no one likes on unpolished uh, watches this one made me feel a bit special because after reading Houdinki and being part of this watch community for almost two years it made me more it made me it, it made me fall in love with this watch even more after reading all about uh, vintage watches I, I know this is not a vintage watch but it surely feels like it, and I know I'll have uh, many more memories, much happier memories with this watch. So yeah, it's the watch that will never go away. Thank you, Houdinki, for letting me share my story.